Hey everyone, this is uh, Prashant. I would like to show you how to create an iPad demo of any application or a website uh, from an iPad uh, in under 10 minutes um, or so. Uh, it is uh, nowadays every salesperson is expected to show uh, a product demo from an iPad and the product managers uh, could really benefit from this I think. Uh, after uh, researching this for several months, I found that uh, Apple Keynote for the iPad is a suitable tool using which anyone who can create a PowerPoint can create interactive demos, very, very interactive demos. I'm just going to show a sample of uh, how we can build a Twitter, a demo of a Twitter app um, using, using Keynote. So let me run this presentation first. To show you now that looks like a Twitter app. Um, so you the, these are the uh, these are the Twitter feeds. So when you click on this thing, this particular uh, tweet called "Do the Green Thing" from "Do the Green Thing," um, that particular page opens there. And uh, say if you want to go to another tweet, and I want to click here from Huffington Post, then that one that one shows up shows up there shows up uh, there now that looks like a, a simple ipad app of course it can be a little bit more sophisticated we can do that um, but for the purposes uh, it looks like an app it doesn't look like a browser it doesn't look like a presentation uh, etc you can go back and forth you can uh, click on particular objects and so on now now let's see how we can do this and i'm going to build this from scratch to show you how this thing can be done and to, you pinch it and this application goes uh, this uh, presentation uh, stops so let's start from scratch i have a blank presentation here which i'm going to open and uh, the first thing i do is i need uh, there are three basic screens here so the first thing i do is i need to import all three of them so you go to this plus sign go to media and from my uh, saved photos I'm going to import this first one so there it is the second one is I uh, add a slide a blank slide and then import the third import the second image the second image is over here um, so that's the second image and the third image is uh, from the Huffington Post one so I'm going to say media and uh, save photos and uh, this I think yeah this is the one so here it is. So with uh, within about you know within a minute, you have uh, this one, this one, and this one, right? So this is there. Now you may you may think that this is this is just like a presentation, a series of uh, of screens, just shown one after the other without any transition. Uh, but it is a little bit more than that. It's actually quite powerful because uh, you pinch this to go back to the edit mode because you can not only just um, build into a build navigation from page to page you can also control the navigation for example you can simply like in powerpoint you can simply um, add a shape here so for example you can define a clickable area now this is the this is the most important thing you can define a clickable area like any other uh, interactive demo building application so uh, you, you you place a shape here and then um, uh, you can say no fill and uh, okay I think I removed let me let me remove this delete and uh, say one more shape you place this shape here I want to I want people to be able to click here and then I'm going to say uh, no fill absolutely no fill so which means it's transparent uh, but at the same time we can uh, introduce an interactive hyperlink here I think that is the key part so um, you can not only go to the next slide previous slide first slide last slide etc you can also specifically link to a particular slide in this case I'm just going to link it to the next slide uh, but I can actually link it to any other slide or any other uh, other screen which makes it I think the most powerful uh, very very powerful because you can you can build a build very sophisticated applications here now I want the next screen that is appearing to appear like an iPad application so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm also going to add a transition here by saying uh, say slides and slides and transitions and uh, so this particular one and I want it to move from the right side move in from the right side and you know like that 
Now, uh, the other thing, the other interesting thing is I can also uh, say some say from which direction it need to move from the right, the left, uh, top, bottom, and so on. But uh, it also gives me uh, good control over how quick the transition should be, so that I can make it look and feel like a real iPad application. So I think that's the that's a beautiful part. It's uh, really uh, really valuable. So let's see how that looks. So here you go. When I click on do the green thing. I get the slider here. Now you notice that the whole screen animated. What I could do, which I which I'm not showing here, I'll I'll show you in the future, is I can just have that particular area move in um, by placing just an image there. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I did not go there, but it's perfectly doable. So click on this this thing and it goes there. So I want to add uh, from here. I want to add another uh, clickable area here. So that when I click on this tweet from Huffington Post, I go to the next page, or I can go to the previous page if I want to. So let me do that uh, to show you how uh, quick and simple it is. And uh, you know, can you can you imagine we are doing this all with one finger from the iPad? You could actually do this while we are waiting at a client's uh, reception, um, and and uh, you know, waiting to talk to them. That is how powerful it is. So there you go. Um, that is there. Now you go back to uh, advanced uh, interactive hyperlinks. I want to link to the third slide. So that is done. Um, so, and I want the transition to also be there. So I'm going to click here and uh, transition. And I want the slide to move in. And let's say I want the slide to move in um, a little, little faster. So I'm going to reduce the to 20 point you know, 25 point 25 seconds and done and let's say let's run this so we created an entire so here you go do the green thing and when I click on Huffington Post that came faster if you notice uh, that's it in under five minutes you have created a compelling iPad demo of an iPad application from your iPad with one finger it this is very powerful I think you can um, product managers can create a number of uh, number of demos of particular scenarios and uh, give it to salespeople uh, everywhere they want. Now, by the way, you can immediately email this one by clicking here and saying share and print. You can share, uh, you can email this presentation as a keynote, as a PDF or a PowerPoint presentation uh, right from here. So, you know, that is that part is also taken care of quite seamlessly. I'm going to cancel this. Only thing is, um, your salespeople need to have the uh, nine, uh, the, the ten dollar keynote iPad app on their iPad, which is pittance compared to um, you know all the th all the money that they spent. So that's the only thing that that you need to tell them. So to all product managers and uh, pretty much any any developers or designers who are out there, uh, happy prototyping, happy demo building. Hope that helps. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.